everybody Ann here and I'm smiling but I feel a little weird. I did leave Betty in the house and I'm dashing today. It's been going really well. Um, I've been getting some pretty decent sized orders. The only thing is my brakes are starting to make some sounds so I'm gonna have to get that checked out. But um, I may have some more very very exciting news for my tiny homestead. I just need to make a few phone calls and then if it's going to happen, I will let you know. But um, yeah, so I'm out working. Betty's in the house. Hope she doesn't crap all over the place. I made her a nice big bowl of mac and cheese, which she loves, before I left. So she'd have something to warm her belly and maybe calm her down. Um, but I think it's going to be okay. Oops, DoorDash. Well, I made it home safe and sound. I cut the day kind of short a little bit because I was anxious to see how Betty did and you know what she did just fine here take a look at her she's so sweet hey Betty did you have a good day mama's really really proud of you because you didn't poop or pee anywhere in my little tiny house you're a good girl you just guarding the porch right now aren't you Look at her color. Isn't she pretty? I wish the sun was out because you could see that really pretty brindle she's got on her. She's just such a good dog. Oh my goodness. I don't know what I'd do without her. But she did real well today. And um, I didn't hear her like howling when I pulled up. And so I guess she's none the worse for wear. So I'm happy. Yep. I've got to get these brakes looked at because they're making sounds. Um, and I know that if I drive on them too long, they are going to get worse and worse and worse. So, I mean, I'm just trying to barely even use the brakes at all right now. So, the only thing is, is I don't really have any money for the brakes, but you know what? I'll figure it out somehow, some way. Um, and something's been going weird with DoorDash. Sometimes I can get on the schedule. Oh, I washed my hair. I had it in a ponytail, but it's just looking kind of yucky right now. Um, you can see, normally you can see the schedule at 3 p.m. before anybody else does like a week out and you know my my customer rating is pretty high it's 4.92 out of 5 but my, I let my um, acceptance rating drop to 82 percent because they just kept firing orders at me one after the other stacking them up one two three at a time and so I I said no to a few and so my acceptance rate dropped to 82 percent and so now I can't see the schedule so I'm on for this week and uh, hopefully the next couple days I'll get that acceptance rating up because I think that has something to do with it and um, be able to schedule for the next week the good thing is um, this week I'm going to be able to you know make enough money to pay my phone and then I've got another two weeks before the property payment is due and then I've got nothing else I mean, I have food, I have water, I have everything I need. So, um, the fact that I've got this tiny house here and it's paid for is just really amazing. I think I look better in low light. <laughs> what do you think? Um, it just, it's just an amazing gift for my parents. And um, there may be some news coming up about something else they're going to do for me. I'm not going to say anything until I get it confirmed because I don't know if it's affordable or not right now at this time, but um, it's big. It's really, really big. But anyhow, uh, staying in the tiny house, just sleeping with that mattress on the ground, or on the floor rather, is just fine for now. Um, I'm comfortable, I'm sleeping really, really well, and it does get cold, and it's gonna be cold. I think either, I think it's tomorrow night, it gets down into the 20s. Um, but I've got my body heater and I've got my snuggle bunny down here right by my feet and we're doing just fine. I mean, it's kind of weird. I don't, it's almost a weird sort of tension because I've been used to such a small space for so long and this is still a small space by, you know, standards, today's standards. I mean, it's 12 feet by 24 feet. So that would be way too small for a lot of people. But to me, it just feels huge. And um, I just keep looking around at the different things I want to do to the cabin. And like I've said before, I'm going to keep it very, very simple. I'm not going to just do a whole bunch of stuff 
weird stuff to it. Oh, and I may be getting a wood burning wood burning stove. I'm not sure yet, but we're gonna we're gonna find out. Not like it's gonna be a few months. Um, somebody may be giving it to me. I'm not sure that yet though, because I'm I'm not even sure if it's the right size for this cabin. Um, it's got a vent outside and everything, so I'll have to get that taken care of. But that's not the big news. Um, I'm going to wait on that until I make some phone calls and find out. Um, but, I don't know. I just, today, without my girl in the van with me, I was just nervous. I had nervous tension all day long. And, and the brakes, they were making me nervous, too. But, um, you know what? i got to work. I've got to work. I've got to at least make enough money to get the, um, the parts. So everything else is like on the back burner. Um, I want to get these brakes worked on as soon as I possibly can. So, well, you know what? I'm tired. I just want to chill out and I'm going to be working for the next couple of days. So I don't really know that I'll do a video for the next couple of days because there's not anything exciting going on here um, except the fact that I'm excited about my new home. I love it. I love it. So, anyway, that's all I got for you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.